Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is Crisis Remastered. Wow, it feels good to say that. The 2007 classic has finally become available in its overhauled state and it looks awesome. My recording hardware and YouTube's compression really doesn't do it justice, but what should still be noticeable are the occasional performance dips. We're far from maxing it out here, but even with the high preset, my 1080 Ti and Ryzen 5 3600 can't always maintain over 60 FPS. I mean, it was fine here, and it was still fine here for a little bit through this opening segment, and then all of a sudden the frame rate got cut in half by this specific area. I thought it was MSI Afterburner interfering with the game, so I closed it tried again without any background software, and then tried again with fraps, but it was still choppy. And you know what? I've never felt more satisfied. I mean, what's crisis if it doesn't bring your PC to its knees, right? But what about the developer stated minimum requirements? After all, an i5 or Ryzen 3 with a 1050 Ti or RX 470 is suggested, along with 4 gigs of VRAM. But is it enough, and can we maintain 30, let alone 60 FPS with similar specifications? I say similar because I have a confession, the i5-3450 that I ordered didn't work when it arrived, so I had to resort to using the i5-4460 for this test. Just like the 3450, it has four cores and no hyper-threading. I can't imagine there would be much of a difference between using the 3450 or the 4460, but I don't want to make any guarantees. And the i5-4460 is of course a fourth gen component, whereas the 3450 is a third gen one. So in a lot of tests, you may not see any difference at all, but it all depends on the game. So let's jump back into the first level and see what happens. So I found a problem I need to mention, this might just be me, but I had a little bit of trouble with configuring the game's graphical options. Choosing the settings was easy, but sometimes low settings would run the game at 50 FPS, whereas at other times the game would run at 70. Starting a new game sometimes fixed this, and sometimes the game ran fine on its own. Odd. Either way, Low settings will run okay on this hardware, with a few dips to be expected. The game is more GPU dependent, it seems, as I thought, and the i5 is having little trouble. The 1050 Ti is pretty much maxed out here. So would I recommend low settings? Well, choosing medium instead makes the game look better, and I was still seeing between 40 and 50 FPS at 1080p most of the time, so I'd say the developers have done a pretty good job of accurately stating the specs required. How the recommended hardware will handle the game is a different story though, and if anyone has the recommended hardware to test, I'd love to hear how it goes. Let's not forget that aside from the standard settings in the game's menu, there is also a Can It Run Crisis mode, which turns the game into one of the best looking things I've ever seen, but it absolutely melts our system. It's almost worth putting up with it for the beauty, but 10 FPS is a little bit low even for me. 20 FPS on the other hand, well, that may have just been acceptable. So how does medium settings here compare to the medium of the original 2007 game? Well. As you can see, it runs with about double the frame rate, but doesn't look even half as good. Crisis Remastered is definitely the new, well, Crisis, uh, but let's play a little bit more of the game and talk about some of the visuals. So when I first fired this game up, I wasn't sure if it actually looked that different. It was only when I compared it to the original version that I realised, wow, things really have improved. The texture works better, the lighting is better. Pretty much everything about this game is better, except from the performance, of course, but that is to be expected. I think we'll be throwing this one back into the benchmark roster, as it certainly is a very demanding game, and it will be interesting to see how some older graphics cards perform with it as well. In the next one, we may actually try and use the Athlon 3000G with this to see if we can run it on an AMD APU, the cheapest AMD APU in fact, but if there are any other graphics cards that you'd like to see running Crisis Remastered, then do let me know down below in the comments as well as any processors. Let me know what you thought of this video down below as well by leaving a like on it if you enjoyed it or a dislike if you did not. Let me know what you think of the game. Honestly, I think it's worth it if not just to test it, to be honest, but it's entirely up to you. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.